Hi, it's Jim from Janku, and I'm here on a freshly installed Ubuntu 18.04 laptop. Now, Ubuntu 18.04 comes with the GNOME desktop by default, and one of the first things I install on my computer when I install a new Ubuntu operating system is I put OBS Studio, which is a screen recording and streaming software. Now, I use this for all my demos, but since I don't have the screen recording software installed yet, luckily with GNOME, I'm able to do a quick screen record before I actually install this software. On the GNOME desktop, if you hold down Shift, Control, Alt, and R, it starts up this little recording widget, and you can see the red dot in the upper right of my screen there that shows that it's working, and that allows me to do a simple screen grab on my computer. Now, there's a lot of limitations with the screen grabbing software. So for one, it does not capture audio. So I'm actually dubbing this video over after the fact. Typically, I like to record the audio with the visual that I'm doing. Another limitation is, by default, the screen recording software goes in 30 second spurts. So it's very limited when it comes to longer screen recordings. We can install a piece of software that helps us configure this a little bit. So let's quickly go to our launcher by pressing our home screen. And then search for the software center. I'm gonna open that up. And now in the software center, I'm going to search for a program called Dconf Editor. And you can see that here, and I'll press install on this. And then just enter my password here. And once the installation is complete, we can launch this program. And it looks something like this. It gives you a warning that you might break some of your applications if you're not careful. So I'll just click the button that says I'll be careful. And then in here, I'll go to the search in the upper right, and I'm going to search for max screencast length. And then at the bottom, there's some options here to customize the default time value. So you see that it's set to 30 seconds currently. I'm gonna change the option where it says use default value to off, and then I'll set my own value of 600 seconds here, or 10 minutes and then I'll click the check mark to say okay. So now if I do a Control shift alt r it will start up my screen recorder for 10 minutes. And I'll use that to go through the OBS Studio installation process now. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to open up a terminal, and then I'll bump up the size of my terminal to make it easier to see. And then in here, I'm going to update my package manager. Just enter my password real quick. And now I'll run sudo apt-git install OBS Studio and press enter. Once that installation process is complete, you can hit the home screen again and search for OBS Studio and you should see the application installed. I'm going to run the setup wizard and I'll optimize this for just recording. So I don't do any live streaming at this point. So I'll choose that second option and then say next. And then I'll leave the defaults here and say next. And then I'll press apply settings. And now the basic setup is complete for OBS Studio. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new source to the default scene that is set up here. Now the source allows you to pick things like your screen recording or using your webcam or a different source. So I'm going to set up a default of the screen capture. That's basically recording my desktop background. You can see if I open up another window here and move this around, you should be able to see this in the screen capture. And then you can add a second source if you wanted to. So for instance, I could grab my webcam here by choosing the video capture option and then say okay. There I am. And then you can move this pane around and you can rearrange these things differently. I'll shrink this and I'll put it in the right hand corner. You could even move your background around if you wanted to. And then you can turn off the visibility of either of these sources if you wanted to by pressing the eyeball icon to the left of the source. And that's the basic setup I use for screen recording using OBS Studio. Now I probably won't use the default GNOME screen recorder too much more because of the limitations, but the default of 10 minutes is much longer than I would normally want. And there's no way to really end this easily. So I'm gonna change the defaults here to go to three minutes instead of 10 minutes in case I ever need to use this recorder again in the future. 
That's all there is to installing OBS Studio on an Ubuntu computer. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more content like this in the future. And until next time, I'll see ya.